हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एमटीई ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड टुडेस वीडियो इज अबाउट ऑन रोल बेस्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल आर बैक फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस वीडियो now the content about this video or oh, what are the r pack uh, what is the r pack in the microsoft defender for endpoint microsoft 365 defender supported r pack model permissions or the prerequisite required when you are creating a r pack access microsoft 365 r pack permissions detail and then we'll be creating a role for this and the finally we'll understand the workload uh, for this microsoft 365 defender so here is a, what is the r pack so r pack will help you to controlling the user permission around their access to view the data to complete the task is essential for the organization to minimize the risk associated with the unauthorized access so basically what i trying to say you should have the r pack in a place to control your access like you have the l1 team l2 team admin team or the architect so all our users should not have the same rights and they should have the different different rights like the l1 team should not having the complete admin rights to perform all these actions uh, they should have the minimum rights to perform the actions so that will reduce your unauthorized access risk now the microsoft defender role based access control model provide a single permissions management experience that provide the one central location for administration administrator to control the user permission across the different security so as i told our pack will be helping us to control the unauthorized access uh, like the some of the team needed or the team need to be access the defender console so we cannot provide the admin console to modify our policies at all so we can give the read only access in our defender console so we are going to learn in this video how we can do that now here is the microsoft defender supported our pack model so in uh in uh, so through microsoft 365 defender we can control microsoft 365 defender that will be a centralized permissions for all the applications then we can control the microsoft defender for endpoint permissions so full support for all uh, endpoint data and actions so all role compatible with the device group scope and defined on the device group page and we can control this r back on um, defender for office 365 and then defender for identity so now here what are the permissions you needed to do r back uh, you must be a global admin or the security admin in azure active directory so you should be a part of a glo uh, global administrator or the security administrator to perform this r back and here is the something around to understand more about your the roles so gain the access permissions roles in the defender portal uh managing the role permission in the back so create a custom roles and all so overall history is like you should have the proper rights to perform the rvac actions now here is the screen where you can create your the custom role for the uh for the microsoft 365 defender and the workload we'll see how you can set up the workload uh we'll go in that screen so now let's move it to the practical lab now so now here i logged in into the defender console and uh let me move it to the settings uh, scroll down in the left side and click on the settings here is the endpoints so let's click on the endpoints and now here we have the rules and the device group uh, where uh, with these two parts we are going to play around it so now click on the rules and uh, uh, from here we can create about the rules what are what type of rules we require so now you can see in it here i have a one default group uh, microsoft defender for endpoint administrator so this is by default but we are going to create a custom so now add new roles you can give uh, your the role name uh, according to your company naming conversion so this is for a like a senior custom role or you can give anything name about the description so the permissions view the data the security operators a threat and the vulnerability management active remediation actions security or the threat vulnerability management handling remediation or the applications whatever you need it and uh, 
if it is required you can uncheck it let me just give the few three and the vulnerability management security baseline profiles if you want to give the access for the security assessment based profiles Allied investigation manage security uh, the center yes the manage endpoint security setting in the intune so we are not going to okay let's select this so uh, from here the live response capability just give the access with the advance and now here uh, we are screened to assign the group so these all these group what i have in my the intune console uh that i can see in it here so i created a defender read only you can click and add to the group so that's all so once you've done this and uh, then you can uh submit this so uh the rules what i explain you here based on your the company requirement you can select the rules and can create it and the finally you can assign to the group if you already created then you can uh, assign the group or if not then uh, i will show you how you can create the group so here is just click and submit so uh, this users the whoever part of uh, this group or the device whoever part of that group will be uh, adding to this group uh, will be assigning this roles now here is a part of your the device group so let's see what what type of the device group uh, we can see so the device group name give it to like uh, i have the custom role testing the remediation how the device will be remediating that so no automatic response or the fully uh, remedied the thread automatically so you can select it give the description if you want it and then go to the next now here is the detection method based on what your device will be part of this group so it's going to be created dynamic group where all these devices automatically it will add it to the group so you no need to create uh, so you no need to add it manually so let's start with uh, the name if you have the name you can put it here uh, based on the name or uh, here we have the start with end with equal and the contains if you want to be add like with the domain base if you are running a multiple domains in your infra so you can create uh, uh, you can create with the domain name as well or if you have uh, if you assigned the tax in your on your device you can detect with the tax as well here so what type of this device now let me go with this uh, and uh, i can see the domain uh, it's a once us clouds clouds on micros on microsoft.com so i am adding this now so tax i'm not going to add and uh, based on the operating system i'm not going to select it so oh, that's all uh, I, I need to add the device based on my the tenant name so the preview you can see the preview here uh, before going to complete it so still it's showing pitch zero let me go back and check start with once eus cloud with the domain dot on microsoft.com so it will take some time to come up here uh, let me type it again once you as cloud stored on microsoft.com yeah the device is not showing uh till but yeah it it, it will shows after some time like sometime it's not showing or you can go with this uh, the, the starting name as well <laughs> do that as contains let me try the contains no it's not showing but it will show in the production also so once you've done it uh the tag you can assign operating system or the starting name also you can do that so once you've done it you can go and uh the user access now uh here it was like the preview the device we assign it and here is the user access defender uh, point where we are going to assign this so now uh, 
user access the group select the azure ad group should have the access to this device group so this is like a, a, a ad user group or which user will be having to access this group so that you can create it now we are good with this role so uh device curve configuration change apply this change now just do it and apply this so now we done this uh the access uh role and uh, the groups and guys if you have any doubts you can just let me know uh on uh, comment me uh, I will clear clear it so here I can see in the permissions as well so no need to worry about it uh, as I told these are the permissions related to uh, your the defender so if you go here uh, the defender for 365 let's see what is the inside so these are the permissions uh, you know, for your uh, if you want to create uh, your custom rules and al already we create a rule correct so now uh, if you want to create your uh, the, uh, this is something different type of uh, rules or like you want to access your the defender console and what are the uh, what are the features you can see in it here so other things what we created just now uh, that is for to control your device on which device who will be having access so uh, like your device with associated with the user so uh, who whoever a part of that group user group that only can manage that particular device but here we are talking about your the console access so i can say like uh, uh, read only access and uh, let see the console to so select the permission each one the security one if you want to give only the read or if you want to give the selected permission uh, this is a like a security data or if you want to give the custom so if any user is part of these uh, groups uh to particular that group so they can be a part of only read only or can manage the alerts response and the other things so let me go with the read only part and the postures is the read only and here is the some other part if you would like to be uh, uh the manage it so all reader permissions so what actually it is uh this will protect your user for the unauthorized access so now i define um i defined your uh, permissions read 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 and once i assigned it to a particular group and whoever part of this group uh the, the add the assessment yes let me go here choose the data from this microsoft defender identity i want to be on the microsoft defender for endpoint and the group it asking where you want to assign or the user i suppose i have a testing user uh, i create a test user so this testing user so this test user can access read only data in my defender console but uh, this will be having the complete rights in my the last scenario i showed you uh, controlling a device with a particular user so that's no need to be confused so read access so now we are done with that now this user will be having the read only access in my the defender console so guys hope you understand for uh, both the type uh, in uh, how you can assign the role based access control in the defender so our uh, uh, read only roles were created so here is the read only uh, roles i created so this is for the uh, dedicatedly for the microsoft defender for endpoint so guys here uh, you can create for uh, uh, like you can play around with the rbac access um as i explained you if you have any doubt you can feel free to comment me on the youtube or uh, once i will be free i will answer you that so thank you guys see you soon in my next video